Nike, I forgot to thank Nike. Oh, okay, Nike, okay. You know what, Nike, the best. They came through like champs. <laughs> George, tell me about Mal. They're watching me. Tell me about Mal. Huh? Tell me about Mal. About Mal. I love the guys that issue. Uh, you know what? He came through. He came through. That was a nice letter. What did you think? Was that a nice letter? Okay, because you know the whole story. I mean, you were there. Why don't you tell us the story, George? <laughs> this isn't like you want the real. St I mean, you know, I'm gonna get you. No, but that's what you're there for. You a documentary. So you have to, you have to tell it like it is. Show it like it is. Right, Joel? And. Uh, <laughs> But well, you've been on this whole ride. It, it's, it's been a good ride, right? Well, for a teacher. You're doing a good job. I can feel all the uh, all the uh, work. Here. Supplies. Oh, she is. Wow. Okay, let's get your. Uh, for a good couple of months after the walk, you're going to need massage, okay? You weren't able to get me in there because of all of everything that was going on beforehand, but where I'm going to come in and you need me is in the end. So you come to me. Where is, uh, what's the name other, of any other, any other therapists or chiropractors yeah. approach you? You already got a chiropractor, acupuncturist, massage therapist, nutritionist, you got it all. Between the two clinics I belong to. Yeah. Okay, okay. you know what? They know all what's this, a wrecking crew? <laughs> hey, buddy, lighten up. Well, I don't want to be in this, really. No, no I'm not telling you a thing. You got to be spontaneous. And you're not know, so formal. Be yourself. I am myself. Yeah. <laughs> my underarms are sweaty, so I put my arms up. Just, or you want me to pull one of these? No, that'd be pulling a George. <laughs> what ham? <laughs> well, you're in the profession. What's ham actually mean? Ham? Yeah, you know, he hams it up for the camera. I have no idea. Means that he's Joe? a bad actor. I'm no idea. The person that know. hams it up yeah. is a bad actor. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I yeah. know what it means. A close up, eh? I'm not, uh, you're not seeing any <coughs> fuzzy things sneaking in the top there. <laughs> oh, God, no. I don't even know where you are. Oh, good. Okay. Well, we, we're rolling, so. Um, I just want you to, to let me know what some of your disappointments are today? Oh, my disappointments. Uh, well, I wouldn't really call them disappointments. I call them obstacles. But there's been a few obstacles. Uh, you know, we didn't get here on time. Basically, some of the people that were supposed to come and help set up didn't get here on time. Uh, we also didn't have our signs up and stuff. But we worked around everything. So really, there was no major problems or anything like that. Everything can be worked out, all you have to do is get at it. Um, let me know how many people you expected today and why that was a disappointment. Uh, well, we expected we expected to have at least three, four hundred people, and I, I, think, I think we had just over maybe a hundred people here in total. And, uh, you know, we've been, we've been working hard at this. Like, uh, you know, George is the walker and he does everything else too, right? He's involved in everything. He loves to be involved in everything. And I'm kind of the person in the back. And I, what I do is I make the roots. I incorporate the logistics into the roots. Uh, I deal with a lot of the, the meetings. I deal with uh, a lot of the people that are part of this. I coordinate volunteers. I do all kinds of stuff. So. I guess I'm kind of like the person in the background that tries to hold this thing together and it's, it's, it's so growing and it's so quick and it's so changing that I guess, uh, you know, sometimes it just gets overwhelming and uh, it gets overwhelming <laughs> and you know, you do as best as you can, you just go on, you know, and things always seem to work out, things always seem to fall in place and you know, it's what we're doing here is we're doing a good thing for the right reasons and uh, that alone, you know, 
I don't think, you know, that alone stands on its own two feet, you know, that's, that's what we're all about. It's a problem. So, what are your, uh, some of your, like, concerns for the walk, like, in the, some of your main concerns? Uh, <clears throat> Well, me and George done the initial walk, and uh, when we did the initial walk, we just, a couple of friends knew about it, <laughs> and we just got on the road and we walked, and we walked to Ottawa, and it took us uh, 12 and a half days, and when we left, we didn't prepare any PR, we didn't have a place to stay, we didn't have, we didn't have nothing. So we just started walking and we started telling people what we were doing and it was incredible on how people just helped us out. Put us up for the night, fed us this, that and the other. Some people gave us donations to help us out. And uh, you know, it was like on a whim. And in 12 and a half days we were there. And when we got to the end, halfway through it, all of a sudden we had media come on and we met a couple of mayors and you know, municipal leaders and stuff like that. When we got to Parliament Hill, they actually had a, an, a, an RCMP escort on horses bring us through the final stretch in the city there, bring us to Parliament Hill. And it was people there, and that, that was, you know. So, so on this journey, there's a lot of preparation, there's a lot of groundwork. We have the Salvation Army involved. We have the YMCA as well as the YWCA involved in uh, accommodating us and uh, feeding us. and. You know, several other things. Um, we have events that they help set up with the local politicians, as well as uh, local doctors or what have you in the neighborhood. And um, you know, it's like this time things are set up. This time there was a lot of work to this. This time this is a lot bigger than the last one. And you know, the first one it was about George saying thank you for his life. Uh, this one here is about showing Canada the transplants do work, that there's a lot of people out there that have had transplants that are living normal lives. Well, there's one that's walking around the province. Uh, you know, and, and Canadians, they don't know too much about this issue. And basically what we want to do is we want to bring awareness to the population of this country because in the in the civilized world, we're ranked right at the bottom of the barrel when it comes to, you know, how much uh, people actually donate their organs for transplant. And, and what we want to do is we want to make a, a change in that. You know, we want Canada to be in the forefront because we have the doctors, we have the knowledge, we have the know-how, we have everything. We just don't have people donating their organs, and that's what this is all about. That's it. Perfect timing, man. Watch it. Okay, gotta go. No, but tell him the, the ah, story yeah. about after you created it. What, what did it look like? It looked like the shape of a liver. Yeah, but you weren't supposed to break it like that. You were supposed to build it up. It was incredible. I, I, just, I just made this root, right? And this root was basically... I, I had to make it so that it would be 2,000 kilometers because we wanted to make the route 2,000 kilometers. So I had to bend and twist and change and there was only one way that it came out to 2,000 kilometers. And when I showed it to George, George said to me, wow, it looks like the shape of a liver. And 